Peace, beautiful family. This is Danielle, and welcome back to the channel. So, on today's video, we're going to be talking about a very special, never guarded, beautiful teaching that I've been using for years. I am a manifestation and mindset coach and certified EFT practitioner. If you would like to get one on one coaching with me, just hit the description box down below. First and foremost, do you guys know? that you have over 90,000 thoughts a day. Yeah, it went from like 70,000 with the height of everything that's going on in the world. They're now saying that you're literally having over 90,000 thoughts. It's just a lot of clutter going on in your mind. And all this clutter that's going on in your mind is creating your reality. How many times have you taken the time in your day to relax? or to be mindful, or to think about your desire. When you are complaining about things, when you are complaining about how come your SV is not calling you, how come I don't have the money that I desired in my life, I want you to start having faith in the fact that you are capable of manifesting anything that you desire to have. So I wanna go over how to use this very special technique very rare technique that neville has been telling us to use for ages but nobody seems to use it inner conversations are your thoughts not just your thoughts though it's the conversations that you're having with yourself use this to your benefit when you are looking to manifest things in your life let's just say you're looking to manifest a new career you should be saying to yourself the things that a person who already has this career would be saying. So Neville says, we abandon ourselves to negative inner talking yet expect to retain command of our lives. Our present mental conversations do not recede into the past as man believes. They advance into the future to confront us as wasted invested words. My words, said the prophet, shall not return to me unvoid, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in all the things whereto I sent it. What he's saying is that your word has power, and to use it very wisely. So do not waste your words on things that you do not desire to have. Do not consider things that do not serve you. Whatever's going on in your reality is what you've been repeating over and over and over. In Joe Dispenza's book, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, he states, so if we want to change some aspect of our reality, we have to think, feel, and act in new ways. We have to be different in terms of our responses to experiences. We have to become someone else. We have to create a new state of mind. We need to observe a new outcome with that new mind. Basically, whatever you focus on is going to be what you're able to use to your benefit. It's going to also come back to you, like Neville said, it's gonna come back to you the way that you imagine it, the way that you heard it. Please be mindful of the fact that you can use revision when things don't go your way. And I have a video that I did recently, I'll link it up, about how to use revision to your benefit. Revision is one of the um, techniques that Neville also used to revise your days so that going into the future, you're not experiencing unnecessary worry, stress, and drama. Revision only requires for you to look at your day and to see all the things that you didn't necessarily like and to go back into your imagination and to create them the way that you wanted them to go. You can do this with anything in your life. I highly suggest that you use inner conversations. Stop cursing people out in your inner conversations. Stop being negative in your inner conversations. Observe your thoughts and decide, make a decision that you're going to start now to create a new story. Say things in a way that benefit you. Become aware. This can happen for you in less than a week. I'm telling you to try this. From this day forward that you see this video, 
Start to be aware of your inner conversations. Anything that you do not like, you revise it. You go back into your imagination. Imagine you and that person having a great conversation or imagine how you would like for the certain event between you and any person or any certain event, how you would have liked for it to go. And you can do this before you go to bed. You are worthy of your desires. How much longer is it gonna take for you to make a decision that the way that your life is going, the way that you see your 3D circumstances turning out, is not the way that you desire for your life to go. I want to implore that each and every person that's listening to this video makes a decision that from this day forward, they're going to have better inner conversation. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.